and welcome to another episode. In this episode, um, and this is kind of like a new intro thing. I don't know whether I do it every time, but it's something that, I don't know, it's a bit nicer, it feels a bit more real. Um, but basically this episode is going to cover a productivity app um, that's out there called Mosaic. And it's run by a company called Baron Fig, and they're really, really notable company. Um, they create notebooks with a real kind of quality to them, a bit like um, Moleskin, but it feels very much a different take on it, um, a bit more productive take. So this video is just going to encompass everything in that Mosaic um, application that they've made alongside to support the application, uh, to support the notebooks that you've got. So hoping you like this video. Um, if you are following me on YouTube, thank you. If you're not, definitely hit subscribe. Thanks, guys. Basically, a uh, they're a book company. They're a notebook company that have recently developed their own application, which is quite impressive, and I think it definitely deserves a little kind of like quick review. Um, so basically what this application is, it's called Mosaic, and it's a standalone app to obviously their service for um, their notebooks. So what you can do on the application is it feels very much like iOS Notes um, on beautiful on a beautiful day. It's actually a really gorgeous application, really easy to use, really functional, and it's free. So what I want to do here is I want to try a little title. So testing... Baron Fig, ooh, Baron Fig, Mosaic. Okay, I've spelled Mosaic wrong, but that's okay, Mosaics. I think I've spelled it right. Okay, so as you can see, the kind of font is already impressive at the start. As you can see also, it's very minimalistic. If you look at this page, there's nothing on it, it's crisp. It feels like something you want to write stuff down onto. So let me just t start typing some stuff in. So hello. And what I can do is I can slowly add notes to this. But I can also add imagery. So let's say I wanted to access some notes. So let's just put my profile photo in here and just kind of dump it in. It feels really like a timeline of your day. I would definitely start using something like this as a journal. And as you can see, as I exited that, it pops back into the main feed and it feels very gesture based and kind of really interesting. If I hold it down and there was more notes there, I'd be able to kind of put it as a priority, bring it across. Again, it feels very iOS notes like. But what I can also do here is I can swipe it across to delete it, but that's the kind of, that this is the kind of level of functionality it's got. It's got a very basic appearance. It's almost like they just want you to write stuff. They just want you to monitor stuff. Really fun, really interesting, and something definitely to check out. So what they're trying to do here is they're trying to make Mosaic a kind of next iteration or a mini kind of digital assist to the project. Um, they have great notebooks. I've been testing it for a while. I mean, I've actually been using it and playing around with it. And the notebooks are gorgeous. And they've made this app exactly the same. So I definitely worth checking out this app. If you're looking for a really simple notebook, something that doesn't, it's more for kind of creative designers, people who just want to drop stuff down versus actually bring it into their productivity system. This is more of a kind of physical notebook approach to digital notebooks, if you kind of understand what I mean. Anyway, um, I hope this one was useful. I hope you can go away, play with it, and see what you think. Let me know on Twitter at Francesco D underscore A-L-E-S, and tag Baron Fig in it as well. Baron Fig's, um, their Twitter handle is at Baron Fig, um, and they're really fun guys, and you should check out what they're doing. So really appreciate the video, guys. This was only a short one, but I'm looking forward to doing a stronger review as this kind of application adds a bit more functionality to it. Appreciate your time. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and have fun. Thanks very much.